Well, hey guys, uh, this is my first video uh, specifically about uh, holsters. Uh, if you spent much time around YouTube, uh, you've probably seen a holster similar to what I'm going to show you today. Uh, this here uh, is basically a holster that goes around your stomach area. Uh, some of the brand names that you'll find out there are things like the belly band holster. Uh, I believe there's one that has like uh, kangaroo holster or something, some variation of that type. Uh, and what I'm trying to do here today is not um, to take and do anything uh, but give you guys another option out there who are interested in concealed carry, interested of, um, uh, as Nut Fancy says, the sheepdog concept, uh, the idea of uh, being out there protecting people, uh, being out there protecting the sheep. Uh, strictly using his uh, metaphor, uh, which I'm sure probably many of you who are watching this video are aware of. Um, I first heard of the belly band uh, through Nut and Fancy, and, uh, and through looking this before I had my concealed carry license, um, I saw that and, and thought, that, that's a good system. Uh, that's a system that I think would work uh, should I ever get my concealed carry license. Well, now that I have mine, I was looking around uh, for belly bands, uh, looking at the different kinds, and there are numerous different manufacturers, like I said, ranging in and about uh, the 30 to $40 uh, dollar range. Uh, some a little cheaper, uh, however, I think the quality is questionable on those. Uh, but maybe in the 30 to 40 range uh, after shipping, and depending on the brand. And so I was just looking around, and as I looked, uh, I, I thought, you know, there's some things that I'm going to want to do to a belly band um, to, I guess, in the way I'm thinking, make it more effective, uh, make it better uh, at what its job is. And so looking, I kind of thought, well, I'm going to want to make some shoulder straps. Uh, I'm going to want to put a retention strap. Most of the belly bands that you see in the variation of, of them uh, under different names um, are more or less just a band. Um, and a pocket for a pistol. Uh, this here is a uh, Caltech P11. It's a wonderful double stack, uh, 9mm. Uh, holds 10 rounds of the magazine, one the tube for a total of 11. Uh, so, definitely great thickness. Um, if you're familiar with the PF9 or from uh, Caltech or the, PM11, or the PM9 from Carr, uh, very similar to those, just a, a slight bit thicker. Uh, but before you get, you know, you're getting a double stack versus a single stack, a couple more rounds, um, you know, it's your, it's your decision. Uh, here, either way, uh, there's the gun. It's been safety checked. Put it over there. Not going to waste time on that. Uh, what I did, though, what I want this video to be about uh, for you guys is uh, seeing that, at least from my perspective, the fact that I was going to want to add quite a bit to the belly band. I just thought I might as well just try to make my own. Um, so this video really is not necessarily the video of me making it, so much as me talking about what I did so that you can take and reproduce it. Uh, all in all guys, uh, I would say this belly band cost me maybe five to ten dollars to make. Um, the only thing I didn't have to buy new uh, was what I'm using for my retention strap. Uh, these are actually come off of, see the Velcro on there, this and the plastic one in the back. I actually came off, I believe it's uh, Bulldog or Mad Dog holsters. It's a pretty cheap holster. It's like $10. Uh, just kind of one of those nylon, cheap nylon, uh, hold any kind of gun type holsters. And uh, so I had a piece of Velcro, so I just sewed some extra Velcro on the process. But let me, let me start with, um, with what I've got going on here. Basically, I went to Joanne Fabrics um, and bought 3-inch white Velcro. I typically wear white t-shirts underneath of uh, like dress shirts. Again, tucking them in, which is why it's great for me to be able to uh, be able to tuck in a shirt with that and still have it inside the waistband holster. Um, so I got white Velcro. This is three inch. It looks like a lot of online, the ones that I've seen have been four inches. Um, I just couldn't find four inch Velcro, or I'm sorry, four inch elastic. Uh, if you can find it, I'd say go ahead and get it. I think it would serve a better purpose for what I'm gonna show you here in a second. Uh, but three inch worked. And I just ran three strips of a uh, three-quarter inch Velcro. You see, I even made a little line so I can line it up. I mean, this truly is homemade and uh, definitely rough around the corners. I have a not a very good sewer, 
and I don't have a great sewing machine. I've got a, a basic sewing machine that uh, just does a few stitches and that's about all I can handle with my talents. So uh, don't be turned off by the fact that you may need to sew this yourself or that you will need to sew this yourself. It's certainly something within your capabilities if you have uh, even the slightest bit of capability. Um, so anyway, it's got three inch Velcro uh, to whatever your waist is. Remember this stuff stretches. It stretches a pretty considerable distance. Uh, you want it tight. Um, the tighter it is, the tighter this gun is gonna hold up against your waist. Uh, if it's loose, it's gonna have some swing. Uh, if it's tight, it's going to be tighter up against your body. However, obviously, the tighter it gets, uh, the less comfortable it is. So again, that, that needs to be your judgment call on that. Uh, either way, uh, so basically what I did, let me start with, uh, again, the three, or about, about four inches of Velcro, three-quarter inch. One of those sides makes a secure, a secure strap. I use some bias tape here on the edge just to kind of close off the Velcro, if you can see that, uh, or the elastic in the Velcro, I should say. Uh, you know whether that's necessary or not, I don't know. Um, you know, it worked out for me well because it keeps that exposed edge from kind of cutting in if it does come up underneath your shirt. Um, totally optional. Um, if, if you sew at all, or if your wife does, or a girlfriend, uh, she may have, you know, bias tape and stuff. Again, we're talking economy here, especially for your first one. If you want to, you know, buy a little nicer stuff on the second one, I'd say, you know, maybe that's uh, an option. But especially if you've never worn a belly band, you know, figure out if you like it before you go investing you know time and energy into making one of these uh, how this started off then uh, is what you see right here without this brown piece of leather uh, basically what I did again because this is three inch velcro I basically laid my gun out kind of lined it up so that the velcro was where I wanted the closure to be on my waist so when I had the gun I'm right-handed uh, wearing it on my strong side inside the waistband or turning it around so the butt sticking the front out the front the butt of the gun here and the uh, gun then underneath my armpit as I'll talk about here in a second uh, either way though can sit the same way in this uh, inside this holster uh, basically what I did then is I took an extra length of velcro of elastic I'm sorry and stitched an extra length that's this piece right here you can see that seam right here did a cross stitch or a zigzag stitch. I, again, I'm not totally sure of the terms. But made a decently wide cross stitch that is also uh, fairly tight, if you can see that. Uh, again, the idea is being that the more secure I can make this, the better. Uh, so what I did then is, uh, once I had these stitched, again, I just laid a piece of elastic down over top. Uh, that was about the approximate width of my gun. And then I took and stitched and stitched. Then to make what ends up being kind of the retention system, if you will, the passive retention system, uh, I took a stitch and kind of lined the edge. Now if you'll notice though, the gun barrel sticks out beyond the length and the bottom side of this belly band. Uh, if you had the four inch Velcro, you may get a little closer. It looks to be I about an inch there. Basically all I did is I took a piece of Velcro, or of elastic, man I keep seeing elastic, or Velcro. Uh, I took a piece of elastic and I, sewed this end on and I rolled it underneath so I'm kind of using this retention strap if you will I took and sewed this end on and then I looped it on the underside so there's, so there's a loop and basically what the gun does when it sits in here it's actually doing one of these things so basically all I did is I extended that pocket down uh, about an inch uh, you don't have to do that in fact the ones you see online don't do that a lot of them are open in the bottom to, so that it can accommodate different size guns uh, one of the advantages of obviously making it yourself is you can make any size you want. Uh, long story short then, I just stitched that up so that when the gun goes in, you have a nice tight fit. Um, that in and of itself is enough to, uh, to hold the gun in. Uh, again, I added these extra retention straps. Uh, you could do anything you want. Uh, this is, I'm relatively new to carrying, um, and so uh, this adds an extra measure of uh, confidence to myself even if you will just with this simple strap it having the hard plastic back again this is off of another holster I have something in the names of Bulldog or Black Dog or um, something along those lines I think it's Bulldog um, nice hard plastic that you can come and just slide your hand down in pop that and pull it out for a draw uh, very easy uh, as far as reholstering goes you know it's you can see that there is a certain degree of memory that this elastic has uh, it's not great 
and in fact, uh, when it's strapped on you, it's it's almost nothing. It's not an easy gun to reholster. Um, 